really humanity or the dominant civilization is going through an initiation into the adulthood of our species or our civilization. And that initiation shares the features of a lot of traditional initiatory practices into adulthood. For example, uh, this, I can't remember the name of the author who, who lays out five almost universal features of initiations. One of them is, oh my God, I'm going to die. Like, we're going through that on a cultural level. Um, another thing that happens is that in, an, in a real initiation, your identity is shattered. You're put in a situation for which you have no, your familiar reference points are taken away, uh, either through isolation or psychedelic plants or physical pain or something, um, danger, you know. Um, and, and, and so your, your ordinary reference points are gone and who you thought you were and the way that you um, uh, interfaced with the world, the way you engaged reality no longer works. So there's a breakdown of identity which is necessary for a new adult identity to form. So humanity is going through that too. Like we thought we knew who we were. We thought we know how, how reality worked and it's not working anymore. The, the, the golden promise of technology to engineer a perfect world and social technology to engineer a perfect society. I mean, in the 50s and 60s, we thought it was going to be, the future was going to be awesome. And we were going to engineer suffering out of existence. We would have, you know, synthetic food and infinite lifespans and, you know, robot servants and space, like all that stuff. And we would certainly engineer poverty and crime out of existence. Like that future is so far behind schedule now that we're thinking that it isn't going to come. And so our, our, our identity, and our identity came from that, you know, and our, our, our belief in the rightness of our civilization came from that. So we're going through an initiatory ordeal. And these ordeals are, when they're constructed well, they're constructed so at a certain point it looks like you're not going to make it. But actually they're not constructed to be impossible. And I think that whatever intelligence has brought humanity onto this earth and given us the gifts that we have knows what it's doing, which is not a guarantee that we will make it through. This is not, see, the, the, my concern at that man's words is that it would encourage um, kind of detachment and passivity. But, so it's not that, that you know, it's like a baby being born. The baby thinks, how am I going to make it out? This is really hard. What do I do? What should I do? You know, if you have a conversation with a baby being born, it's asking, what should I do? What can I do? This is a crisis. I might not make it, you know? And, and you're like, you know what? Actually, the mother is doing the work. You are doing almost none of the work. Yet, yet, it's easier to give birth to a live baby than to a stillborn. So the responses of the baby to what's happening to it are important. They are part of the birth process too. That's why I don't say, I'm not saying just don't do anything, but maybe let go of the, our habits of doing, because a lot of those are part of the problem. But our, you know, our, our heartfelt responses to things are um, necessary. <laughs>